insulin production by our dna technology so uh, this is the introduction of insulin it is an hormone which regulate the carbohydrate and fat metabolism in the body insulin is secreted by the isolates of langerhans of pancreas these isolates of langerhans are the cells which are present in the pancreas of gi tract and this insulin catabolize glucose in blood insulin causes the liver cell muscle cell and fat tissue to take up glucose from the blood and store it as a glycogen in the liver and muscles so this is the production of insulin in the human body pancreas is formulating the insulin and particularly this isolates of langerhans cells are playing the major role in the production now this is the rdna technology production of insulin so here we are isolating the pancreatic cell which is pink or we can say pink in color at the left side and at the right side the green color bacterium is isolated now from the bacteria we are isolating the plasmid vector that plasmid is cut and cutted part at the part where the plasmid is cutted out is fused with the insulin cells or we can say insulin formulating dnas so here the recombinant plasmid we get from this process and that recombinant plasmid or hybrid plasmid put back into the bacteria and that bacteria produce the human insulin we can say it is a humulin also this is a simple diagrammatic explanation of production of insulin now structure of insulin so this insulin consists of the two polypeptide chain insulin having two polypeptide chain chain a and chain b chain a having 21 amino acid and chain b having 30 amino acid now pro insulin it is act as a precursor so pro insulin is having three chain chain a chain b and chain c and this chain c having 35 amino acids now production of insulin so in the isolates of langerhans insulin accumulate in the secretory vessels as a single polypeptide chain called as a pro insulin before the secretion into the blood stream third chain c of the pro insulin is exist and leave a and b chain joined by disulfide bridge as the active insulin so here when the formulation of insulin is occur in the pancreas or the cell of isolates langerhans the pro insulin is secreted from that vessels now when we have to or when body have to secrete that particular insulin into the blood stream when we required insulin to catabolize the glucose that c chain of pro insulin is exist and the a and b chain both are combined with each other by the disulfide bridge and convert into the active insulin e coli is not capable of removing the c chain so here the bacteria escherichia coli is not capable to remove c chain and to activate the insulin we have to remove that c chain so there were, there are several strategy is developed in the production of insulin from the bacteria and most successful is synthesizing a and b chain separately and then join together so in the production of insulin by our dna we determine the gene sequence of chain a after determining that gene sequence of chain a we fused it to the beta galactosidase gene of the e coli now that lac za chain 
it is beta galacto uh, galactosidase gene is fused and cloned into the pbr322 vector and that bacteria with the plasmid synthesize beta galactosidase with insulin a chain so here we produce the chain a of insulin separately same as the production of chain a the chain b is produced after the purification of two chain now we separately prepare this both chain and after the formation we purified both chain and mixed together and allowed to form the disulfide bridge and produce the active insulin so this is the production of recombinant insulin here separately at the right side we are formulating the b ring b chain uh, by using the vector and cloning it into the e coli bacteria same as a chain was isolated and formulated at the left side both chain are separate out from that particular bacteria and then after purification process we get the chain and after mixing and purifying both chain the formation of disulfide bond occur and we get the active insulin now this is the exact exactly the uh, bond between three kind of insulin so this uh, three insulin having different different uh, insulin having different different stage or state of activity first is pre pro insulin in pre pro insulin we are having idea that uh, it contain the a chain b chain and c chain with single peptide now when pro pre pro insulin convert into the pro insulin it is containing disulfide bond and it lose the single peptide and that pro insulin convert into the active insulin and active insulin having a b chain with disulfide bond there is no presence of c chain the schematic diagram of alpha beta chain of insulin and disulfide bond the human insulin produced by bacteria isolate the human cell grow in the culture and then isolate the dna and fusion method is accepted now production of human insulin by the bacteria so here obviously we are taking the plasmid from the bacterium adding the dna fragment of the human insulin dna then recombinant dna was produced and transformation is done and after the transformation bacteria replicate itself and so many insulin are produced by this bacteria this is the genetic engineering and uh, insulin production so step 1 the starter bacteria having the cell wall cytoplasm chromosomal ring of the dna and plasmid dna and flagella from that we are isolating the dna of the bacteria now from that we are extracting out the plasmid and the particular section is cut out now from the fifth stage we are fusing that dna with the cell or dna genome of the human so here our dna or our plasmid was derived now next modified plasmid again introduced into the bacterial cell and that bacteria multiply and produce the insulin and that insulin was isolated by so many technique and uh, it can also isolated by the extracted method and we get the insulin in the figure we <coughs> see Uh, at the industrial level the fermenter are used for the production of 
insulin and this is a fermenter which used in our dna technology marketed product product of humulin production of growth hormone is also done by the our dna technology this is the graph of or this is the schematic representation of that particular growth hormone production thank you